I haven't spoken to you guys for a little while. Life has honestly been pretty crazy and busy. Um, yeah, it's just been like trying to get back into the groove of being in the vehicles. One of the biggest, I feel like, changes going back into vehicle living is cooking food and figuring out when you're gonna eat, what you're gonna make, and it's all like really weather dependent as well. So first thing in the morning, sometimes it's really hard to feel motivated to boil water and make oatmeal and do all that. We definitely have been doing coffee shops, um, cafes and stuff more than we originally planned or would like to be doing that because it obviously costs um, a lot more money to be paying for coffee and just eating out in general always costs more. So. Um, um, yeah, we've been trying to stay away from that, but it has happened. And then of course on the cooler days, um, like I said, it's harder to feel motivated to be outside and cooking, but we've done pretty well in terms of utilizing both our solar cooker and the bio light. On the really sunny days, the solar cooker is awesome because even though it does take a little bit longer in terms of time to cook, it's pretty much just a simple like cut your food, put it in the cooker and then wait a few hours and it'll be finished. Luckily, we've had a lot of really warm days and a lot of sun and another great meal, if you will, or kind of like light um, lunch or snack is rice rolls. And I honestly hadn't made rice rolls for like a really long time. Um, and the ones that I'll show you in the clips here are probably not the best because usually it's nice to have like rice noodles inside um, or something a little bit more filling but if you have like avocado tofu and then some veggies like um, shredded carrot and cucumber um, I like adding a little bit of seaweed or nori into the wraps and then they just they taste like really good and they're pretty easy to make and you don't have to cook anything so it is more of a raw meal
Figuring out meals has been a big adjustment and it definitely does make you appreciate a kitchen when you have one. You realize how nice it is to have a fridge and storage and a stove and running water all the time for your convenience, but I think we've been doing pretty good with making do. One of my common breakfasts is just a gluten-free bread with peanut butter and banana slices on top, and then having like a little um, handful of nuts or seeds on the side is really satiating, keeps you full, and is a nice, quick, easy breakfast to do without having to cook anything. So that's been a lot of what's been going on food-wise. in the parking lot. <laughs> I usually don't get around to filming talking clips when I'm out and about and exploring. I'm not sure why. I guess I just am always kind of in the moment and don't think about pulling out my phone or camera and um, 
chatting with you guys but anyways here i am it's been a little while um i thought i would recap a little bit but my parents came to visit and i had a really nice i think it was three or four days um visiting and traveling with them we went around to uh, different areas and um, places i had never actually been before unless you're canadian you may or may not have heard of a place called tofino but it's very common surfing area um, on the west coast and so i got to check that out for the first time and to save gas i was not actually the one driving i was driving and traveling around with my parents in a vehicle that they rented so um, i gave macbeth which is the name of my car i don't know if i've ever actually mentioned that on here before but anyways her name is macbeth i was able to give her a bit of a break and she got to park for a few days but it was much cooler and so i definitely did not bring up clothes but we were layered it was very wet and as you can see extremely foggy which i guess is super common and typical for august got to do that and um had some good vegan food went to a lot of the beaches which the beaches are absolutely beautiful they're so sandy which is something i'm not really used to um especially in most of canada you don't often have like very sandy beaches um but these were just huge white sand beaches the only thing is it was pretty cold so we didn't stick around very long and tan or anything i'm not so much of a surfer i've only surfed in mexico and so it would definitely be cool you have to wear a full wetsuit and everything And then we also did a whale watching tour, which was probably one of the highlights of the trip. I mean, the whole area was beautiful, but we got to see about six gray whales. There were sea lions, sea otters. We even saw a puffin, which on the west coast of Canada is very rare. I think, I think our guide said that there were only about like 11 or so, um, like orange or red nosed puffins left. Um, and so we got to see one. I didn't get a clip of it, but apparently that was super rare to see. Of course, saw bald eagles and all that. But yeah, it was amazing. In Canada, the coastal nations actually managed to establish a fairly good... pre-European settlement population numbers so uh, yeah I want to say Clark Sound has a pretty good population density there's
like most of the west coast of Canada, we have amazing hiking and trails, so we definitely did a lot of that. And yeah, it was just really awesome to spend some time with my parents and see some new areas that I probably wouldn't have gotten to for a while. Okay. Since I've been back, I've been doing a lot of work on my um, birth doula website and just trying to do a little bit of work online here and there. If you follow me on Instagram, you'd also know that life has not been super easygoing lately. It's been pretty just negative and I felt pretty down and lost. I would say today is probably one of my more positive days but life is just getting a little bit challenging and um yeah just i say this in a lot of videos but the state of the world obviously isn't getting much better it makes for some really difficult realities we have an election coming up in canada fairly soon so things of course get very political and that's always just a joy to witness but yeah i'm just trying to do my best i think day to day living my life in as sustainable a way as i see possible and continuing to do things that serve me and feel good in my life and i am trying to do my best to be more active on social media and youtube and all of that so some days it's a little bit challenging but I feel like I'm slowly getting better at it. I think that's going to be all for me, so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and this video, and please don't forget to subscribe so you see more content from me in the future. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!